Thompson Tackle here, and today we got, as you've seen, we have a ton of remotes. Um, 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 yeah, we got a buttload of remotes. Trust and Beatty gave them to us, and he said that we can do whatever we want with them, so we're gonna be remelting them. Um, I've got a pretty big pile of, I've already sorted through these, looked at all of them, most of them, and, um, I have got, um, kind of like a pile going of green pumpkin, or just pumpkin, and then putting them in a pile, and I'm gonna, um, remelt all of them. You got all sorts of baits. These, I mean, you got brush hogs. Um, just tons of used baits, and that's one thing that's cool about our company is um, we can take old baits and restore them. We can't restore them to exactly how they were. Um, one because we probably don't have that mold. Um, but if you if we do have that mold, then it would have to be the exact same color. Um, so yeah, I've got a holding pile here. Um, it's mix match. Tons of different dip. They're they're basically the they're a majority of green pumpkin and watermelon, but some of them will have different color flakes in them, which will twist the whole thing. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what how how they turn. So we got a lot of remelts. So let's get to it. It's gonna be interesting to see what happens. We got this jar. I like using jars. A lot of people use Pyrex cups. Um, I found that if you use these jars, they are way tougher than a Pyrex cup. So, yeah, so we are gonna cut all these up and put them in there. All right, so now I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna take like basically a handful of baits right here. Get some good, nice scissors and just cut them. Alright, so I got a boatload of green pumpkin cut up baits and um, a lot of different flake colors, a lot of different colors. It's going to be interesting to see what it turns out. So i pop them in the microwave. This is a different microwave than what we have. We have two microwaves right now. Um, and this one is the one that Titus runs. So, I don't run this one. I don't run this one very often. But I guess I'm gonna do today. Two minutes, three seconds. And um, it's gonna get it will get a little bit smaller than what it was just because it turned into liquid. Right now it's a solid, it'll turn into liquid, so it will get a little bit thinner, but I think I will just get uh, I think I wanna turn these into some I'll probably turn them into night colors and a couple different baits. A couple other surprise baits, so we'll see. Alright, so this is the first time opening it. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't really look like much happened. I gotta get my gloves on before I pull it out. Doesn't really look like much. Okay, hopefully this is a little bit better of an angle. But, I got my glove on. And you, if you can hear that, that's totally normal. Um, you're definitely going to hear that. I'm going to cut up some more and put in there because it's shrinking more than I thought. Um, but, there's going to be tons of air bubbles because of the water. It does not really like um i don't really like water i guess you could say it gets a lot of air bubbles whenever it hits 
whenever you try, whenever you have your bait in water and then you try to reheat it, there's definitely going to be a lot of bubbles and um, it's definitely, it'll be okay. You don't, you want to try your best to get the bubbles out um, or you have a lot of air pockets, but other than that, most of the time it is okay. So let's see this back in the microwave. Put it in there for, oh wow, okay. I guess I got it a little bit too high. Put a little too many baits in it. It's shrinking a little bit. I actually, it actually looks good, okay. Oh yeah, that's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna try to show the color too much. I'm gonna save that, but. Um, definitely a lot of air bubbles, so I'm gonna work on it, so I'm. Just gonna try to get my do my best to get the air bubbles out. So I'll get back to you whenever I can get most of the air bubbles out and injecting. Okay. Don't know if you can see it, but it is coming over the top, kind of like a volcano. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing the air bubbles just kept rising and rising and rising. And it brung the soft plastic with it. Yeah, because we really don't have that much in there. But it is time to inject. So, yeah, we're going to do that. All right, got this big injector up here. And inject. Hopefully we don't have tons of air in there. But. Alrighty, so it is time to open them. Right here we have, oh man, I thought these were grubs. These were supposed to be grubs. Looks like they're crawl chunks. I, I, I just seen the crawl chunk and the grub will look the exact same, so I just assumed this was the grub. But, I'll show you what that looks like. Right there. That looks pretty, that looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty green, um, like a dark green with red, purple, black, and some light blue and some green. Um, it looks pretty good overall. Um, that's pretty cool right there. Um, I got four of those, and then I also did ribbon worms. And I think these look pretty cool. Them there look really, really cool. Made two of them. And then I also did also did um, a lizard. Seven inch lizard. That looks really sharp. That's a really sharp looking bait right there. Um, yeah, the seven inch lizard has tons of action, tons of uh, love kickers. You can see all the cool flake in there. Um, and then we have 3.5 inch swim baits. These things look really cool. Um, and yeah, that's all the baits I made. Um, I kind of ran out of plastisol. But, or I kind of ran out of the baits, but um, 
Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, one thing that I think we're going to do is, um, you can go to our Facebook page and say if you, and just tell us, um, message us through, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, see this. These things, I didn't even think about that, but with the salt in them, they actually sink. They're at the bottom of the water. All of our baits that we make with our glasses all float. So these are gonna have tons of salt in them. That's crazy. My home, let me put them in a bigger tub here. Move them over to mine. Tess is a little tub, mine is bigger. But I don't know that these things sink. They're at the bottom right now. I have no idea what to sink. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Um, and if you guys like want these baits, um, I think, so what we're gonna do is um, you can message us through our fix Facebook page, Thompson Tackle, or Thompson Tackle Facebook page, and tell us, you can order um, all of, you can order any of our baits through there. Just tell us what you want. Um, if you want, if you don't know what we have and you want to look at them, you can go to curtainrage.com forward slash Thompson Tackle. I mean, no, sorry, curtainrage forward slash Thompson Tackle. I think it's like a dot com. And then you can you can check out our website and look at all the baits. And then if you want to order, you can go to um, our Thompson Tackle Facebook page and message us. But what we're going to do is we're going to make packs using um, this type of um, this type of plastisol. Um, these type of baits are made out of exactly how I just did them, remelts. So I'm probably I'm gonna make a pack of these. Finish out these 3.5 inches. I'll finish out these ribbon worms. Hopefully, I'll, yeah, I'll finish out the ribbon worms and these. And if you want them, um, you can go, like I said, to you can message us through our Facebook page, and we will sell them for three bucks instead of five because they are um, a remelt. So yeah, if you want to get these, um, I'm only going to do them in the. I'm only going to do this collar in the 3.5 inch swim baits and in the 7 inch ribbon worms. That way I have enough to make, that way I have enough to make a pack for you. And then you can, again, just text us that you want them through our Facebook page, Thompson Deckle. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and see you later.